Hey guys, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get a good start when FIFA 14 Ultimate Team comes out. Yes, it's been, it's got about another month or two to go, but the earlier I bring this video out, the more likely people are going to actually get it in their mind how to actually stay rich and not become an absolute prat like me when it comes to FIFA. When it comes to FIFA 13, I made my fair few hundreds of thousands, but I just blew it on backs. What was the point? I probably spent about 2 million on packs and only earned back about 400, 500k back in packs. Yeah, I have my Aguero. I got it good in form. I got my Aguero. I got other decent players. I never got a team of the season. I only never got an in form. I just got Aguero, Hazard, oh, I can't even think who else. Loads of other people. But it did not pay up for all the bloody stupid packs mistakes so when you actually first start FIFA 14 what should you do step one is basically stop the fuck wait please just follow EA on Twitter and you will find out when they are releasing the web app if you've never heard of the web app it will be linked in the description below it's a much simpler idea and technique to trading especially when it comes to trading you can go on the web app it's basically the exp it's basically the FIFA Ultimate Team version except you can't play games and you can move it around with your mouse so you can click everywhere much quicker instead of scrolling along your pages and it's so much easier to get to the the hundredth page for instance on a player and it's it's just so much more easier but when the actual FIFA 14 web app comes out, every single, the, when you first ever start on any account, literally you can have 10 accounts, you will get a number of free packs, basically. I, I, in the last one, I believe you ended up getting a free gold one, which had a few rare gold players in, It had, a, and then it had a few silvers in, You and you got a bronze one, and you got a silver one, and then you just got one normal gold one. But out of these packs, you can get the dog's bollocks of packs. You will get Messi. I remember on FIFA 12, I saw someone put Messi up for 10,000 coins by now. And it went <coughs> seconds. My little dirty click there on my fingers. It went in seconds. It was absolutely terrible how it actually sold. It was the fact that... I knew personally that Messi was going to be worth millions the minute FIFA, the fi minute the FIFA actually went out. About a week or two later, he was going to be worth shit tons. But 10k when the web app cast comes out on FIFA 14 is a lot of money. That's why you need to keep every single one of your players. You never know. You could have I don't know. I, I just. A silver guy, a Brazilian guy, a left back, for instance, a 90 pace. Oh, he looks crap. Oh, he'll go for about 2k. No, you never know that. You could have Marcia Azevedo sitting there, and you won't even know who he is. He's a five-star skiller left back. You can't see what skill moves they are on the web app. So you could have Marcia Azevedo. Every single FIFA now, he's been worth 60,000 coins plus, And people still have made the big mistake of selling him for cheap, cheap coins that they shouldn't have. You lose out on so much money. So guys, step two is... Actually, when the game first comes out, when it comes out on the web app or on the Xbox Live, on the Xbox or PS3 or whatever console you're on, or Xbox One I believe it is, and the PS4, you need to actually think about what you're doing with your coins. You don't want to go blowing them on the packs again. You want to look for them typical players that you know that, oh look, uh, we'll go through Arsenal for instance. Um, if you get any transferred, I'll pick up Schürrle here. He'll probably be worth about 1k, 2k right at the beginning of the game. He'll go up to about six grand because of his pace and his nationality and his club. Every time FIFA comes out, the prices are the smallest little specs of the game. Literally, you will get your... I don't know, I can't... Let's find a decent player. Someone for, for the likes of Santi Cazorla's normal card. Or Aguero, for instance. He'll be worth about 20,000 coins at the beginning of FIFA when it first comes out. The minute you wait a few weeks later, he'll be worth 100,000 coins. So this is what I'm talking about. Keep the players. That is the main factor. Keeping the players is absolutely everything to FIFA. Your prices will go up. You just need to think. And if you were well, like me, I had 20,000 coins to start Ultimate Team with. I was just lucky. I could, and plus you get daily gifts when the game first comes out. Literally, FIFA Ultimate Team on the web app will give you 5k, 3k. They will give you a small little pack. You can get as unlimited amounts of money out of it. You only get it once every single day. But if you've got 10 accounts like me, you've become a rich fucker. So literally what I did, I actually ended up building a team. I ended up building a Bundesliga team. 
game. It was probably the best team I had. I'm really shameful for selling it. I probably bought it for about 20k. And I bought players like for the likes of Muller. I bought him for 2k. I ended up selling him for 12k. The minute his price went up. Everyone's price went up. I made 100k, 200k profit on just selling an amazing team. I bought this team within the first week. And sold it within the second and third week for 100 more. So guys, these are the three tips to actually start in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. I hope I haven't destroyed anyone's comfort zone on like, Oh, bollocks you, man! You stole my idea of this video! Or, you've stolen someone else's idea! Or, I don't know... Or, you've you destroyed my little trading technique! Or, how I'm going to start on my team! I'm sorry, but I've got to help people. Come on, everyone... I'm a nice guy. I want to help you guys start Ultimate Team fresh, new, and perfect. So guys, thanks for watching. If you could leave a like, that would be absolutely amazing. If you could hit the subscribe button, that would be even better. And if you are new around here, once again, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. And my Twitter is below, so if you've got any questions, come and tweet me and follow me. That would be great. And I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I bring out a lot of FIFA and Minecraft content, so come and subscribe uh, once again. And I hope you have a very nice day.